Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. 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 Welcome. Good evening. In this beautiful Friday. Okay, we're going to wait one minute. Okay, how are you? Tomorrow you have you have to work also. Or you rest on Saturday. Okay. I rest tomorrow. Ah, excellent. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Ya iniciaron la section 4. No yet. Algunos sí. Ok. Ok. Eh, also remember that you have to send el comprobante del manual del estudiante, right? Tienen hasta el día lunes para enviarlo. Entonces, hay que imprimir el documento, si no me equivoco. Tienen que firmarlo, escanearlo, así como lo hacen con, con sus papeles cuando van a, a iniciar, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que puedan enviar ese comprobante y no vayan a tener... Ahí ningún problema que le vayan a estar, se lo vayan a estar pidiendo ya la próxima semana. Traten de, de enviarlo mañana si fuera posible para que ya el día lunes ya todos lo hayan entregado. Ok. We are going to start with the exercise from the platform in which we are going to use some and any. Uh, this is the vocabulary, the conversation. We did the conversation, right? Yes, okay. We have um, complete with some or any. Okay, remember some, we are going to use it. Eh, con qué? Cuando vamos a usar some? Con is in contable. Con contable and uncountable. Ajá, y en qué tipo de oraciones? Singular. Affirmative. Affirmative. Affirmative, correct. Affirmative y en plural, in plural form, cuando está en su forma plural, porque significa algunos, más de uno, ¿ok? No una cantidad específica, pero sí varios. Y any, when we are going to use any. With? Cuando es una oración negativa. Yes. Or? Eh, contable eh, cuando es eh, preguntas. Questions. Con sustantivos. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. Correctivas, contables e incontables. Yes, correct. Vamos a usarla con... Tanto con contable como non contable, pero en oraciones negativas y en preguntas. Ok, let's do the exercises. Okay, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make any or some. Some. 
um, some because it's a positive statement. Okay, do we have any, any, any mayonnaise? Any. Because it's a question. No, we need to buy some. 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 Okay, we need to buy some. We need any some. onion. Some onions too, because it's a positive statement. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any 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 onions. This is negative, right? Negative statement. I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Okay, se recuerdan que hablamos de likes and dislikes. Okay, then let's get some, some, some celery. Okay, no, I don't want any, any, any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some, 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 some apples in it. Okay, apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Okay, what is the meaning of celery? Did you research what is what what is that that word? Celery. What is the meaning? You don't know. I don't know. Celery is apio. Apio. Ah. Celery is apio. Okay. And um, what about the word awful? That sounds awful. Do you think it's something positive or something negative? Negative. Yes, negative. Yeah. Negative. Okay, that sounds awful. Como feo, mm, horrible, feo, yes. Okay. Any questions about this conversation? Okay, so let's practice. Now we're, you are going to, to, to read the conversation, okay? We're going to start with Mauricio and Natalie. Okay, Natalie, you will be Amanda and Mauricio, you will be Adam. Miss, no cambiado la pantalla. Oida, yep. No he cambiado qué? Green. So it's just green for the read. Oh, really? Ah, okay. Esta. Me start and no. Okay, ready, Natalie. Well, we have lots of potatoes, like me some. Sorry, I don't, I don't listen. Yes, casi no se le escucha, Natalie. Eh, no sé si cambio de dispositivo, creo que es por eso. Ahí, ahí sí se le escucha. Ahora sí, uh -huh. yes. Ah, okay. Eh, okay, okay, do we have any mayonnaise? Mayonnaise? Okay, mayonnaise. no, we need to buy some. Eh, we need... Some onions too. 
Oh, I, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Do you want to get some celery? Do you want any celery in potato salad? Oh, sorry, but let's put let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Okay, thank you. Okay, now the next will be Jose, Guillermo, and Alison. Okay. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have to make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. Um, we need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I have onions. Then let's get uh, some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salt. But let's put some apple in it. Apples in potato salt? Mm, that sounds awful. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, remember hate, hate. Okay, the word hate and potato, potato, potato salad. Okay, let's continue. Or do we have uh, two more volunteers for the last, the last time? Okay, Jose Ovidio. One more, please. Mario. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I start. Who? Yes. Okay, you start. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have loads of potato. Let's make some. Okay. Do you have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onion too. Oops. Oh, uh, no, I don't want any celery in the potato salad. I don't understand that. Ah, perdón. I don't Sorry. want any. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Oh. So let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Delicious. Apples in potato salads, that's some awful. Oh, okay. okay, thank you. He again, hate, hate. Okay, remember, hate. yes, hate. Okay. We can continue with. Okay, we have some. Ah, I, I have an activity. But. Wait.
Okay, let's make a list. We are going to classify Okay, the words that we have here into countable and non-countable. Okay, let us start with the grains. Okay, the bread in which category? Countable or non-countable? No countable. Okay. No countable. The crackers. Countable. 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 Cereal. No countable. No countable. No countable. No countable. Rice. No countable. No countable. Pasta. No countable. No countable. No countable. Um, noodles. No countable. Okay, yes. Potatoes. Contable. 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 Lettuce. Contable. Are you sure? Y los demás, only one. Contable. Contable. No, it's not contable. Why not, teacher? It doesn't have plural form. Oh. You cannot say lettuces. Yeah. And for example, in when you put or you prepare a salad, you put some lettuce, but you cannot count like como la, la sojita, o, o sea, it's como difficult to count. Okay. I understand that. A carrots? Contable. 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 Broccoli? No contable. No contable. Yes. No contable. Correct. Tomatoes? Contable. 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 Apples? Contable. 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 Mangoes. Contable. 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 Strawberries. Contable. 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 Beef. Contable. Contable. You say beef? Yes, beef. Ah, incontable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Astro. Okay, yogurt. No contable. Milk. No contable. No contable. Chicken. No, no contable. contable. Okay. Potato chips. No contable. No contable. Candy. Mm. Contable. 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 Yes. 
Okay, and the plural sería candies. Butter. No con tampoco. Oil. No con No con tampoco. Beans. Yes, grama <laughs> grammatic grammatically correct contable. Ayer la aprendí. Yes. <laughs> A la brava es. Creo que todos. <laughs> Ay, ya no se le va a olvidar. Nuts. Why you say? Nuts. Enough. Contable. Yes. Eggs. Contable. Contable. Fish. Fish, no contable. No contable. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think. This part is clear. Okay. Uh, this is uh, listening. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, we have, I think that's the, the audio. No, this is a conversation. Okay, we have some examples of breakfast from different countries. Okay, the first one is from the US. Okay, they have eggs. Okay, these are fried eggs, fried eggs. But also here in El Salvador, the scrambled eggs are very popular. Scrambled eggs with green pepper and tomato, onion. Okay, that, that's are the scrambled eggs. And they have bacon. Well, no, I think, let me... Yes, bacon, I think it's bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, and jam or jelly. Okay, jam or jelly. So that's uh, a typical breakfast in the United States. What about Japan? They have fish for breakfast, rice, soup, Pickles, okay, pickles and green tea. And we have Mexico. Well, this doesn't sound like a breakfast. It sounds more like a lunch or a dinner from here in El Salvador. We don't eat fish or rice or soup uh, in the morning, right? Then we have Mexico. They have eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, and coffee with milk. And this, I think this is the most um, similar to a Salvadorian breakfast, right? 
Only you have to change the tortillas for bread. And that's it. Okay. And probably we don't eat fruit here. Okay, let's see. Now let's share. What do you have for breakfast regularly? What do you have for okay. breakfast? Or what did you I... have? Or usually, what do you have? Coffee. Okay, raise your hand if you want to participate. Okay, your video. Okay, my better class is egg, coffee, bean. That's it. Bread, sweet. bread. Bread. Bread and sweet bread. Yeah. Or only bread. The two okay. things. The two, both. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and the coffee is black or with milk? It's black. Regular black. It's black. With yeah. sugar or no sugar? With sugar. Okay. Put the sugar. Oh, two spoons, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Karen. Okay. I eat breakfast with coffee with milk for breakfast. Sugar? No. The coffee? Yes, sure. With sugar. Okay. And what else did you say? ¿Qué fue la otra que dijo? Coffee and? Coffee with milk and pupusas. Pupusas. Okay, pupusas. Yes. Okay, Mario. Okay, so my breakfast was some eggs, um, beans, um, bananas, um, drink some hot chocolate. Okay. And that's it. Bread? No. Uh, no. No. Okay. Excellent. And the eggs were, uh, were fried or scrambled? Scrambled or fried? Scrambled. Okay. Okay, who else? Hey, Alison. Okay, I have breakfast, uh, uh, bananas, beans, uh, and scrum eggs, eggs, and coffee. Okay, black coffee or with milk? Yes. No. Black coffee. Black coffee. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, what what do you think is the most um, different breakfast from another country that you know about? For example, the breakfast in Japan, or do you know another country that have a totally different breakfast? Uh -huh. Which country <laughs> and, and what type of <laughs> food? Japan is different than the breakfast the, the Mexico. Like, uh, I think so. The Japanese, the food is very hard. I not say pesado. Okay. Okay. For me. Heavy. Heavy. Uh, okay. Heavy, that's it. heavy. Okay. Do you know from another country that has a rear or different breakfast? Mm. I don't know, maybe the Italian people. Italians. Yes. 
maybe 18, so he ah. for alpha. <laughs> okay. Well, for example, in Colombia, for breakfast, they have uh, beef. They have beef and soup, but no soup with vegetables, sino como los calditos que ponen in some restaurants. Okay, that, that, that kind of, of soup with the meat, with meat in the breakfast, in the breakfast. Okay, a kind of similar with the Japan. Okay, they have fish, rice, and soup. So in Colombia, they have uh, that combination, soup and beef in the morning. Okay. So let's continue. Or do you have something to, to add? Questions? Everything is clean, similar to that, la horchata. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, when you talk about meals, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you have to use the word have, have. Usually in English, uh, we don't say, I eat for breakfast, sino que eh, I have, I have for breakfast, okay? So you have to, to get familiar. Tiene como que, que acostumbrarse, okay? To the way that is in English, because in Spanish it's different. Okay, so then we have the conversation. Okay, fish or breakfast? Hi everyone, it is in different countries. Straight some cultural differences in the US, Japan, and Mexico uh, yes, eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast but I like to try new things. Now is your turn. Okay, now it's your turn to practice. Okay, let's listen to Erica and Alba. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family hours has a happening sterling breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? 
We usually have fish, rice, and so. Being fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always had Greek tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see. Japanese style. Okay, my family always has a Japanese style breakfast. Okay, now let's continue with Davis and Idalma. Okay. Let's, let's, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has in Japan state breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We uh, usually have fish, rice, and so. Fish for break. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. Salad too, and we always have green green tea. Well. I never eat fish too for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, thank you. Okay, be careful with the pronunciation of soup. Okay, because soap, soap, soap is uh, jabón. Okay, so be careful with the pronunciation is soup, like an you soup and interesting remember the stress the stress syllable is the first one interesting ahí tiene que estar la mayor fuerza de voz ok en la primera ok and the last two Veronica and Araceli Yeah. Are you ready, Araceli? Okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always have Japanese style breakfast breakfast on sun Sunday. Really? What do you have? We also Usually, usually, how fit rice and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's inter interest interesting. 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 <laughs> Sometimes we have and salad too, and we always have. Green tea, green tea or tea, profe? Tea. Tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to drink new things. Eat, I never eat and try to try. Okay. Questions? No question. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, but I say something. Yes. Congratulations, teacher. I like that. How you do it at class now. Hi, thank you. <laughs> Yes, you need to talk more. You need to talk more. And we have extra time. So 
you, you have the opportunity to practice. Okay. So you want to participate more in class? I like that. Okay, excellent. Good to know. Okay, the next topic is adverbs of frequency. Okay, adverbs of frequency. Okay. Okay, the frequency adverbs or the adverbs of frequency are words that we use to um, like to say, to, to talk about routines. Okay, se recuerdan que ya estuvimos hablando que el simple present se utiliza cuando hablamos de routines o cosas que hacemos regularmente. Okay, things you do regularly. Okay, so, eh, ¿se recuerdan también que les mencioné unas signal words? que podemos agregar en nuestras oraciones cuando estamos usando el simple present? Okay, so, these frequency adverbs are some signal words that you can add. And they referring to how often or they answer the question how often okay que tan a menudo se hace algo okay that's how often um so we have things that we always do like take a bath eat uh mm, well cook in some cases okay Things you always do every day, work, sleep. These are things you do always. That means a hundred percent of the time. Okay, so there is no day in which you don't take a bath. I hope. But then we have other things that we do it usually, okay? You usually go to the same restaurant, for example. Uh, you usually go to the grocery store. Okay, cosas que hacemos like a 90% of the times. Okay, not always, not every day, but yes, usually. Generally, it's an 80% and it's normally, like normally, generally or normally. Then we have 70%, we can say often, como a menudo, often. Okay, I often uh, go to the gym, no sometimes in my case okay but often is something that you do a um, 70% of the times so in, for example in the week if the week have 7 days you go uh 5 days so that's often or 6 6 no um, 4 to 5 days that will be often Sometimes is 50% of the times. Okay, sometimes that is the most common. 30% occasionally, occasionally. Okay, occasionally I go to visit my mother-in-law, a la suegra, right? You, or, or, or seldom, I don't know, or rarely or never, I don't know. So seldom, a 15% of the times, rarely 5%, almost never. This is rarely is almost never. And 0% that you don't do, it's never. 
can never. So these are the frequency adverbs. Y ahora vamos a ver, well, from this part, do you have questions? Quizás no se enfoquen tanto en qué significa cada uno, sino eh, como en qué porcentaje abarca. Para que cuando usted quiera utilizarlo, depende de qué tan frecuente hace la acción, usted pueda aplicar la palabra. Yes, Karen. Um, yes, quisiera saber el significado de, eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia, seldom, o sea, como en español, como para lograr decir alguna frase y que uno pueda saber qué significa más o menos. Es que, vaya, es lo que les decía. Eh, primero, no todas tienen una traducción, o sea, exacta, por decirlo así, al español, porque el español está como lleno de, de sinónimos. Entonces, por eso les decía yo que se enfoquen más en el porcentaje de cuándo lo vamos a utilizar a más ir buscando una, una palabra en español. Porque, o sea, ustedes tienen que empezar a pensar en inglés. Cuando armen sus oraciones, you have to think in English. You don't, you don't, don't have to translate. Okay. If you think first in Spanish and then in English, not always be correct. Entonces, ahí es cuando la, eh, la mayoría de errores ocurre porque tratamos de, de traducir del español al inglés. Y como son diferentes, no siempre nos va a, nos va a sonar como, o, no nos va, o no lo vamos a hacer de la manera correcta. O sea, entonces, digamos, seldom es como, es bien parecido a, ra, ra, a rara veces, que rarely es como raro. Seldom es como de vez en cuando, pero por eso le digo yo que tienen como occasionally, ocasionalmente, pero no es digamos que solo una palabra la que tiene ese significado, sino que en español hay varios sinónimos para la misma palabra. Ok, Miss, thank you. Ok. So focus in the frequency, o sea, en el porcentaje que representa. En eso se, se, se tiene que, que enfocar un poquito más. Y ahora veamos en qué posición lo vamos a colocar. Muy bien, les decía que the frequency adverbs los, vamos, los usamos cuando se contesta a la pregunta, how often? Or when we talk about um, routines, okay, routines. And uh, we have here an example. How often do you brush your teeth? Okay, we are talking about something in your routine. Okay, and we can use um, one frequency adverb or these uh, serían como marcadores también de tiempo. Eh, once a day, podemos usarlo con numbers and times. Que once, which means one. Twice, two. Three times, four times, a day, a week, a month, a year. Or you can use it in a period of time. Uh, I brush my teeth daily. Or I go to the grocery store weekly monthly 
annually. Y si yo utilizo esta, obviamente ya no voy a utilizar esta de acá. Solo voy a utilizar una de las dos. Ok. También podemos utilizar every two days, every three weeks, every four months, or every day, every week, every month. Ok. And... Ah, muy bien. Aquí dice que it's not correct to say one time. That is not correct. So you have to say once. And for example, I take a bath one time. That, that is not correct. You have to say I take a bath once a day. Okay, two times is not correct, so you have to say twice, twice. She visits the dentist twice a year. He goes to the gym three times a week. I call her daily to make sure she is fine. Okay, and in general, we put the, the frequency at the end of the sentence. Okay, si se fijan, la mayoría está at the end. There is a leap day every four years. We pay or mortgage every month. Okay, we use it at the end. So that will be the same with the, the frequency adverbs. Y okay, aquí tenemos algunos que son the same, but we also have hardly ever, que ese no lo, no lo teníamos en el otro listado. Pero como ven, siempre vamos always, que sería nuestro 100%, y luego vamos bajando. Que usually 90%, often 70%, sometimes 50%, hardly ever, like a 30%, and never 0%. Okay. The position, eh, además, lo vamos a utilizar para la pregunta: Do you ever? Do you ever? Tanto como con how often, okay, how often, or do you ever have fish for, for breakfast? Okay, cuando usted utiliza do you ever have, uh, it's more focused in your experience. Aquí se enfoca más en cosas que usted ha experimentado. Con esta pregunta, do you ever have, alguna vez has, eh, en este caso sería comido, es lo que les decía, eh, si traducimos, eh, has comido pescado for breakfast, okay, have you ever have fish for breakfast, okay, yes, I always do, or no, I never do, okay, por lo general, The frequency adverb in this case will be after the verb. Okay, I always do. I never do. I often uh, go to the gym. Entonces sería antes del verb. We're going to put the frequency adverb before the verb. But we have an exception, which is sometimes. Que ese es el único que puede tener three positions. Tres posiciones diferentes en la oración. You can use it in the beginning of the sentence. Sometimes I do. Or you can use it in the middle, como las demás. I sometimes do. Or you can use it at the end. I do sometimes. Okay, ese sería el único que podemos mover en esas tres posiciones. 
De ahí, en general, tienen que ir. ¿En qué posición les dije? Después del verbo. ¿Después o antes? Antes del verbo. Antes, antes del verbo. Yes. Antes del verbo. Antes del verbo. Ok. And... Ok, to finish, type one sentence using a frequency adverb. Eso sería lo último que vamos a hacer. Ok, type here on the chat one sentence using a frequency adverb. Okay, I usually take a bus. I always drink coffee. Great. Okay, excellent, Karen and Jose. I always go to the university, okay? She always drinks juice on breakfast, on breakfast. I always work. <ríe> ok. Mm, pero este suena a que no descansa. También podríamos usar... That, that is a lie. <ríe> ok. So you are always working. I sometimes go to the gym. Ok. Sometimes I eat pizza. I never drink coffee. Me. Okay. Really? Coca tampoco. <laughs> okay. Se lo digo aquí porque no puedo escribir en el chat. Me. Okay. I always drink water. Okay, excellent. I always, eh, tiene que ser en presente simple, María Belén. Simple present. Ahí me está usando ING. I always eat tortillas. Use a complement, Verónica. I always eat tortillas for lunch or for dinner. I rarely eat fish. Okay, excellent. I occasionally read my favorite book. Okay. I usually walk to work. I usually have, le falta el verbo, Eric. I usually have breakfast at 5 a.m. I hardly, se comió la L, I hardly, hardly never, no es hardly ever, hardly ever drink milk in the morning. I always eat mangoes. Okay. I never eat onion. I always play. You need a compliment. I always play on Friday or on the weekend or at night. I usually eat pupusas for dinner. Okay. I usually study after class. Excellent. I never eat beef in breakfast. At breakfast. I never eat beef at breakfast. Okay. So Excellent. I eat hamburger and pizza. Okay. Sometimes I eat 
eat hamburger and hamburger pizza. And pizza. Okay. I always drink horchata juice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Muy bien. Ahora usemos una. Well, we only have one minute. Le va a quedar de tarea usando la otra forma, la de eh, once a week, uh, once a day, monthly. Vamos a usar la, um, la otra forma. Ahí les queda de tarea. Think, piense en cómo, cómo la van a armar. Y recuerden que esa iría... Um, where is it? Toma la captura. Este, esta iría... At the end. Esta va al final. At the end of the sentence. Okay. And you send that for the chat? Yes, but later. Okay. Okay, so that's all for today. Enjoy the rest of the weekend and see you on Monday. See you Monday, teacher. Congratulations okay. for this class. God bless okay. you. Thank Good you. Bye-bye. Get rest. Goodbye.